great voice feed, ClickBank. Okay, great. Somebody's a, somebody's Clickbank, a Yeah, sure. We'll talk about ClickBank today, definitely, because what we're going to do today is a hands-on workshop on getting your autoresponder set up, making you uh, build that trust with your subscribers. How, I'm even going to talk about how to set up the web forms and all that. We're going to get you set up today. Okay, we're going to set you up so that you're sending mail the right way to the new subscribers. I'm even going to show you a really good way to get subscribers. Okay, so no stone is going to be left unturned when it comes to ClickBank. Um, that obviously is something you can put together as a funnel. And when you start to learn how these funnels work that we're going to talk about today, I'm going to show you a really good example. I uh, built the diagram for you guys and everything. I'm going to work into this. So you guys will be happy. Um, I've got diagrams and everything for you today. We're going to get you set up and making money with your autoresponder. Okay, now when it comes to ClickBank, you're going to see what we're doing here today and be able to scale it up. So that means if you learn something here today, you're going to be able to go, okay, I see how this works. Now I can apply this to all the top-selling ClickBank products that I want to promote. Okay, so that way you don't even have to have the web page because, you know, the, the owner of the ClickBank product has that for you. It's got the pitch page ready for you. ClickBank products are great for that. If anybody's in the ClickBank as much as I am, you'll know that they made some major changes this year. And they have a brand new rating system for their vendors. And they're doing all sorts of things. So the equality of... The numbers, like, you know, ClickBank, Gravity, and stuff like that, is going to change now. Like, it used to be the heavy hitters with a big email list could make those numbers soar immediately. So, of course, everybody that went to ClickBank would pick up on that and go, hey, uh, that product's selling, I'm going to promote it, which makes it grow even more. And it's viral, and it's exponential. And that's why some of those giant ClickBank guys have been able to do that. But ClickBank is actually doing something that's in your favor now. Because even though that a lot of people still have the dream of being that guy, like, oh, or that girl, like, oh, I want to be that person where, you know, my thing goes viral in ClickBank. Well, guess what? Your chances of doing better are improving now. Because what they're doing is evening the board. So it might seem like they're putting more pressure on the vendor or and, and stuff like that. But really what they're doing is they're cleaning up the show, okay? Because what if you think about it, a lot of the old ways of doing things were manipulatable and, you know, people cheat, right? And it's like the bad guys would always win. And if you're just an honest person trying to promote an ebook on ClickBank, your ebook would never do that well because everything was geared toward advertising and campaigning toward these giant ClickBank guys. So by evening out the board, it's really putting the pressure on the big guys most. So that's forcing them to comply with the new rules, regulations, and system. And, and you might think, oh, well, that's kind of weird to be rating the vendors this way and stuff. But what it actually does is completely even the board. And I see huge potential for people to step into ClickBank this year and actually have a fair shot at making something sell really well in ClickBank. That's an excellent point, though. Before we go any further, tell everyone here, if you don't mind, just a quick story about your success with ClickBank, because you've told me, but I don't know if anybody here, even including our autoresponder sales club members that are already in our membership, tell them a little bit about what, what you did with ClickBank. Just not to brag on yourself uh, a little bit, but you created well, some amazing I mean, software. Yeah, I mean, like what I realized about ClickBank was um, – well, I guess it's like any type of advertising. If you have more eyeballs landing on more ads, you're going to get more results. Now, that's pretty basic thinking, right? I would imagine that's pretty basic thinking for anyone. My cat's having a fight over there. Stop it. Um, that's pretty basic thinking for anything, right? So uh, if you think about that, more ads, more eyeballs is going to equal more results. That's pretty simple. That's straightforward, right? So if you take that thinking and put it into something like software and go, okay, if I could have software that builds a lot of sites with a lot of ads, with a lot of ClickBank links, 
with my ID in them, and I could link them all up to videos found on YouTube related to those keywords, and I could press a button and it would build all those websites for me, that would be really cool, wouldn't it? Yep. So what I did is I built a Magic Video Robot, and what it did, and I'm making some changes to it now because people wanted Amazon involved in this too, is uh, it would go ahead and build your websites for you all in a click. So you would enter keywords, and, and you can still get this product from me today in a very special way. I'm going to mention that at the end of this webinar, okay? Um, because it's not, it's sold out on the Warrior form, and you can't get it anywhere right now. But I am going to give you folks a shot at grabbing a copy today. So Magic Video Robot will build those sites for you. You just enter your keywords. Bam, it will build you 100-plus websites all in one click in separate directories on your server. Now, what that does for you is it allows you to, if you want to assign a different domain name to each site, all that you can do that because they're all separate websites they're all related to a keyword and each one will go it's got software in there that will go to youtube through your youtube api harvest videos related to your keyword and display them on the page so the web page in one click and it'll build a hundred of these in one click for you in separate directories you go to one of these sites it'll be full of youtube videos related to the keyword it pulls in the description so you have text content all over the page which is easily easily found by google along the side you have the clickbank and now amazon ads that are related to the videos so i mean like having software where you can have a hundred websites in one click and if you want to assign different uh, domain names to each one if you want like you could go ahead and do that you could even use subdomains off your main domain and save money i do that a lot um all those pages get found in google so even if they're only getting a few hits a day or a few hits a month if you're building hundreds or thousands of websites you're obviously getting more eyeballs on your links and more eyeballs clicking your links means obviously more hops and hops for anybody that don't know is just clicks like the amount of clicks that you get to an offer page in clickbank it does not mean the person bought the product okay the offer still has to be good the product still has to be good and that sales page has to sell it okay it's all about that sales page at that point but getting them there is a click and that click is called a hop and to get the hops you obviously cannot get sales conversions if you got no hops. If you got no people going to the page, you see no action. And don't forget, even if you only have a 1% or 2% sales uh, conversion rate, you would need at least 100 people to land on that ClickBank offer through your link before you expect to see one or two sales. So, in other words, lots of clicks are first and foremost. Wouldn't you agree, Rick? Yes, exactly just need lots of clicks because if you get tons and tons and tons and tons of clicks and the offer you chose is good and that's something else we can talk about is choosing offers but really you just need more eyeballs a lot of people i know have a very small email list and they lit they mail out a clickbank product and the clickbank product may get a sale or two uh but then you know later that week you're not going to see anybody on that same list buying that product wouldn't you agree rick nope that's right yeah even if you have a bigger list and you've sold more copies of it would you expect them to all buy it again three days later absolutely not no 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 of course not and if you've got a very slow list building process you get like a couple of week you might get one sale if you're lucky by e-bombing them again but what else are you doing when you're e-bombing people with an offer they already bought or they're not interested in? They're putting you in the junk folder. They're annoying. Yes, they're, they're... right. You got it. You've lost them. You're no yeah. longer really paying attention. That's right. To it. So it's better not to keep bombing people with the same offer. It's better to find a way to automate the process so that everybody sees it once and they're told this is one time only. Don't miss it. And 
you have it automated so that the, the, the sales flow goes, they opt in, they see this offer one time, they may get one more email about it saying, hey, if you didn't grab it, you better today, it's last chance. But after that, they should never see that email from you again. And that's how you keep your subscribers happy and you're going to do better. Now, your question is going to be, well, how do I get people to see that offer every day if I don't email it to my list? Well, the, the real truth, folks, write this down on your notepad. The real truth is once they bought the product, you don't really want to bug them anymore. Ever. About anything. Nothing. Don't sell them stuff. Don't harass them to check out your next product. What you need to do instead is build a master list. And we talked about that in the main webinar that we did for the Autoresponder Sales Club. I realize there's some of your subscribers today, Rick, that may be viewing this that didn't get to be a part of the Autoresponder right. Sales Club. That offer is still available. Base membership is three bucks. We're going to do these workshops and help you get all set up. So if anybody is listening right now that isn't a part of this and doesn't know about the Skype group and all of that, just go to mafiamastermind.org slash deal, okay, and you can join up. Now, let's get started because what I want to do is I want to get hands-on dirty here and stop talking about how to do it, and let's just go do it. Let's all go do it together. I'm sure everybody here has their autoresponder ready to go. If you don't, we've got the vendor lock autoresponder that I'm about to show you right now available in the gold package, which was the autoresponder sales club gold membership, which also included warrior money school. Talk about that later. A couple of Rick's products. And I believe you said Rick, they get the sticky wiggly WordPress plugin today if they get the gold membership. So if anybody really wants this new autoresponder because I've just put all these new features into it, you can go to mafiamastermind.org slash upgrade. You have to be a base member to get that, so go to mafiamastermind.org slash deal first, and you can sign up there. Go ahead and join the autoresponder sales club. Then you will see the page with the autoresponder and the hosting package that we gave you called the gold membership. Now, for everybody listening and everybody that's ready to go, got your notepads ready, your pens ready, hopefully you got a cup of coffee, let's rock. Okay, we're going to go into the vendor lock autoresponder and get set up. Now, anybody that's a part of the autoresponder sales club can go log into their vendor lock client care account and under your products listing at the top navigation bar inside there, you'll see support and my products, all that. If you go under your products and look at Autoresponder Sales Club under your product list there of products you own, there is a button off to the right that looks like a little arrow pointing downward. If you click that, it will say downloads. And that gives you access to the downloads that we make available to the Autoresponder Sales Club. I'm telling you this because anytime we add something, we're going to put it there. That's where you're going to find it. If you want to know how to log in a quick way, you can just go to our homepage and log in from there. That's vendor lock hosting. There's no dash in this one. It's just V-E-N-D-O-R-L-O-C-K hosting, H-O-S-T-I-N-G dot com. Okay, vendor lock hosting dot com. Rick, could you just type that one in the chat? Box I'm doing it as there? fast as I can here, man. Okay. So Bottom line. It, hosting dot com. And it's in the middle of the page, you'll see uh, members sign in. Okay, so you can go in there, get the email swipes, because I'm going to show you how to put them in your autoresponder here, folks, right now. Okay, so if you are part of the autoresponder sales club, you already have access to that. You can access them where I just told you. And I think Rick just gave you that link, so you can go ahead and do that. Now, uh, did you have a question there, Rick? Before well, I had a few of them. I just wanted to make sure that everybody was on the same page. Uh, there are a few people on the call tonight that have already got the Autoresponder Sales Club. Uh, make sure you go there 
and follow the exercise because this is for your benefit. Uh, we had some other people asking for a webinar replay. There is no webinar replay unless you're a member. This is our second call, uh, the second workshop that's been recorded for our members only. And the reality of it is it's $3, folks, a month. So it's not going to break yeah. anybody's bank. Less, less <laughs> than the cup of coffee you're drinking right now. Right. Starbucks. Bottom line is it's $3 a month to, to have the email swipes, the training that we're giving. I'm actually going to give you a single site work, uh, WordPress uh, Sticky Wiggly uh, site. And we're going to show you some other things coming through here that are going to show you the true power of what you can do uh, with that WordPress plugin, plus some of the software that's just going to blow your mind. And if you get the upgrade from that, yes, it is more than $3 a month, but it's very, very inexpensive. We're not going to get into all of that now, but I promise you, each and every one of you, uh, before this night's over with, literally in the next 25, 30 minutes, all you got to do is Skype me. If you, don't want to, if you don't want anything else, if you only want that, period, not a problem. All you do is Skype me at rick.hodge2. So we're giving you a bunch of links. We understand that. But again, we're keeping our word. This is for our members only. You know, for, for three bucks a month, you can come to these workshops and really uh, do something that's going to help you build your business because it's all about building your business and your list. If you're doing it correctly, you're going to make money. If you're not going to do it the right way, you're, you're really spinning your wheels and maybe you should, and we suggest that possibly this may not be the right avenue for you. You need to have the right mindset and you need to be building your list in a in and build a friend first because nobody likes to be spammed and we're learned that by what we're teaching you now we've learned this the hard way okay i mean just uh, that's the bottom line we know that's this works important point, yeah. uh, a lot of ev um, everything we're going to show you at this workshop is learned by trial and error yes uh, by failure first and then success so when you've met up with failure don't feel bad we all have but they lead, it leads to success by learning from your mistakes. Um, I make mistakes every day, and I learn from them, and I go on to bigger and better things. Um, let's get rolling here. Can everybody see my vendor lock autoresponder on their screen? Let's make sure. Let's just get a type in the chat from everybody. Say, yes, I can see. And let's make sure that everybody that's already a member of the autoresponder uh, club, go ahead and log into what you're getting right in your, you've already, you, you've already got it. Open it up and let's do this together. So let's give them a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, they don't have to log into the autoresponder yet. Uh, if they want to just watch what I'm doing here and maybe if they want to go get their email swipes ready, they can do that. I'm going to, I've got a whole list of stuff I'm going to do here, Rick. So if, if, if that's okay, I'm just going to dive in. Go this. right ahead. And get rolling. And if you just want to answer questions as people chat in the box, I just wanted to make sure everybody could see my screen properly before I get rolling. Here. Yes. So could I just get a chat back from everybody that's in the webinar right now? If they can see my vendor lock autoresponder on the screen right now. Yes, they're coming through. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, everybody perfect. can see it. Thanks. All right. Awesome. There's been a few that haven't answered yet, but most of the rest are saying yes, right. they can. As so. Long as a majority can see it then we know the feed is good so as long as the speed is good everybody else can watch what i'm doing here okay so the vendor lock autoresponder this is the autoresponder here that you get with your gold membership and we set it up for you too so don't worry about setting it up um now i've made some major changes to this baby in the last couple of days many of you won't have these updates yet because i'm beta testing them with some beta testers the last few days and it should be able to be released for you I, I could probably put it on the uh, vendor lock site for you tonight okay so I'm gonna be in the Skype group with you again if you're a, an auto responder sales club member you're in the Skype group if you're in the Skype group I'm gonna personally walk you guys through the upgrade tonight and I made it into a simple one-step one-click installer so basically the upgrade is one click for you guys. Okay, can't get any easier than that. The reason I'm telling you that is because a couple of the things I'm gonna show you right now, you might not see in your autoresponder because you've got the, the uh, last version. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna help you upgrade this software tonight. Okay, so let's go into it here. First of all, web forms. Uh, you wanna build web forms for your 
lists, right? But you want to know where to put them and how to put them and all that. So let's get a campaign set up and then let's build a web form for it so you can get opt-ins. Because remember I mentioned before that we want to set it up so that people don't see that offer over and over and over and you get them to hate you and put you in the junk folder. You want to streamline things so they only see the offer once and then they're segregated into special lists so you know what's going on and you know who's getting what mail. Now, some of the features I added to the vendor lock are going to help you with that because what I just added is something that I don't even think Aweber can really do for you properly. And that's track three separate URLs within a message separately with clicks and separate unique clicks ratings or uh, check on, on the number of clicks so that you can see the actual number of clicks per uh, unique clicks for each of the three links in a message and it will cloak them. So in other words, you can make a message that says uh, da, 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 click here and the click here will be a cloaked link and it will track separately from your second and third link. Now you might say, why would I want to do that, Jeff? Let me quickly explain the huge benefits of having segregated link tracking within your message. Let's say you have a message where you want to use all three of the tracking links, and I'm just going to go to a broadcast right now to show you where you enter the links. That, that way you can see. What I'm talking about is here. Broadcast. Okay, so on broadcast page, and by the way, I put the. Just letting you know, Jeff, you are starting to fade. New instructions so you... for the new features. Okay, uh, I haven't done anything. How's my audio now? You're fine now. Are we no. good, Rick? You're fine right okay, now. I didn't you... do anything, so it must have just been a little fade out in the uh, uh, audio feed. Sorry about that, folks. I mean, that sentence then. Um, what I've done for you is I've put the instructions for the... ...new feature for Bill... And to convert okay. and new box and other um, not that but uh, uh, because there's and can't HTML, so you want to give them, and it always HTML, and leave the amended. What you want to do is give them both. Okay, so just copy what you do. Jeff, I hate to interrupt you. I hate to interrupt yes. you. I, I, I would not interrupt you any other time, but it's very important that everybody understands what you're saying, and you've been fading again. Um, just, it's just it's something that's very important that everybody needs to understand, so could you just back up Maybe 60 seconds and go through that one more time, please. Am I, am I clear again now? You're clear now, but when you mm, perhaps. I don't know why I'm getting paid like that. This is really important that they understand this, this part right oh, here. Okay, yeah. Well, we got these three new boxes, or six new boxes, and the system that I've added, okay? And, and then you have your standard boxes that were there before message subject and text. Uh, then below that you have your HTML version broad. Oh, and now with the new track that I for, get to use short code. And the short code is, is curly bracket link one curly bracket. Curly bracket link two curly bracket as you can see right here. Okay, so you can see I've got link one, I got link two, and link three. They're different colors. Okay, and don't forget, folks, I'm going to give you this upgrade 
right after this webinar, I'm going to be in the Skype group helping you do this upgrade. Okay, it's really easy. And anybody that doesn't have this autoresponder yet, just go to mafiamastermind.org slash deal. Okay, and get the responder club, and then the upgrade offers you this autoresponder in a huge software bundle on a hosting account with the domain name included, and I set it all up for you. And then I just hand you the keys. Okay, so that's how it works. Um, so anybody that doesn't see this on, on their autoresponder, don't worry, we're going to get you these new features tonight, okay? So, oh, I'm not sure anymore, you're going to use a short code instead, and I'm going to give you an example of that right now, okay? So here's how we would use the new feature. Let's say I wanted, and uh, before I do it, I mean, let me explain the two huge benefits that I, I was just mentioning when you said that I was fading. The benefits of using this system. Why would you want to do this? First of all, knowing how many clicks you get versus how many opens you get is important data because that tells the opens tells you one thing. It tells you how well your subject line performed. Remember that, folks. Opens is all about this subject line right here. This is your cell right here. Not your message. Please write not your, okay? A lot of times your message was a perfect sell, but you didn't get any clicks or buys because they didn't open it. Okay? Now, if they didn't open it, they're surely not going to read your message. So, yeah, you have to have good sales copy in your message or, you know, your, your words have to be finely tuned to get the, click or the performance you're wanting from the subscriber. If you want to sign up for something, you have to spell it out to them. If you want them to click on something and watch a video, you have to explain that to them. But none of that is page one, subject one. Because let's be honest, folks, you do click two. When you get emails to your inbox, isn't it the subject line that grabs you? You look at that and go, look, oh, that sounds interesting. And then you open it. That's how it works. So if you do not have a successful subject line, your ad does not sell. And that's true with forum ads, emails, everything. If you do not grab them with the subject line, they will not open the message and therefore will not read your ad. Okay? So subject is controlled by opens. And I'm going to show you where to track your opens in a second. But that's only half the battle. Getting them to, <clears throat> getting them to open it and read the message, great. If you did a, a lot of opens on a message, that means your subject line did really well. Whatever you said worked. If you said, attention, this is really killer stuff, and this video's up for one day, watch it now. Maybe that's one of your best performing subject lines ever. And you'll know because of how many opens you got. And if you have a certain size list, you'll see in your list, broadcast a huge increase in numbers on that one message. So when you see a huge increase in opens, and then, you know, it goes back down the next three messages you send out, you know that one subject line performed really well for you. So if you know that, and if you have that piece of knowledge, you can now tailor your subject lines better in the future to use that same technique to grab their attention. Whatever you did in that subject line worked. So knowing that is important. That's why you want to track opens. Now, why would you want to track the link clicks? Well, if you get 40 opens, you might go, oh, awesome, 40 people read my email. That means I'm going to get 40 people on my page. No, that means 40 people clicked on it. And in an email client like Windows Mail, and you just kind of click on all of them as you're going through your emails and hitting delete. So in that format, they could be actually just deleting your mail while it got opened. So in, in a mail client, it opened, you got to remember that in a mail client like Windows Mail, as you click on it, it opens in the viewer. So that counts as an open, but they might be right-clicking it to delete it as they're doing that, so they're not even looking at it. So... Did your message get read? Maybe not. 
it just got open. That doesn't mean a whole lot. That just means either your subject line really performed well as, ex as you wanted it to, or they clicked on it for some reason and opened it. That doesn't mean they read it or wanted to click on anything. So now we have to get down into the message down here and track how many clicks we get on the link. Now that's what the new feature does, is it tracks the clicks on a link. Now why would I go ahead and make it do triple links for each message? I bothered to do the extra program and do all that because I wanted something that, and I, I'm just going to just, I'm not going to write a real message, I'm just going to put in something here that looks like a paragraph, okay? Now, I'm going to put in my link one, so link one in curly brackets, okay? So that's going to put my link one. Now, link one is going to be up here, it's going to say, click here. And the real link is going to be, let's say, my website, AndrewLawHosting.com. Okay, so the two yellow boxes both belong to link one. The first one is text, the anchor text, what it's going to say when it goes out, and the location is the real link that you want it to go to, the one that nobody's going to see because it's getting close. And nobody's going to know they're going to Better Law Hosting until they've clicked it. Okay, so down here in the message, I don't. I can write that link as many times in the message as I want. I could put it up here now. I could put link one. Oh, sorry, link one, like that. Okay, so now I got the da 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 da, and it's you can get it right now, and it'll say instead of this when they get it, it'll say click here, whatever I wrote up here. Click here, it's going to show up in the message, right there. Oh, it's going to show up right there. Now, why would I want triple link tracking? Let's get rid of this one for a second so it kind of wrecks it all. Okay, so I got a paragraph there, link one. Paragraph here. Now, let's say I want to still, let's say I, my message is only going to have one link because I'm only promoting one thing. In most cases, that's what you're doing, right? You're promoting one page or one link. So why would I want two more? I could just write link one again, couldn't I? Link one. And it would put my click here. Well, certainly it would. But they're both going to get, you know, clicked. And then the, the problem with single tracking, with like the AWeber regular tracking, is this tells me that I got the click, so they did read the copy. But here's the important part, folks. It doesn't tell me which part of the sales copy got their attention. Remember? Opens tells me if I got their attention with subject generally. But what doesn't happen when you track one link in a message is it doesn't tell you if this paragraph got them excited and made them click, or if it was this paragraph. And if I go down and make a third paragraph and really hard sell it, get in now or it's gone, and then a, a link again, link one, Yes, this would work. It would pl place my click here, there, it would place my click here, there, it would place my click here, there. They'd all go to Bender Lock Hosting. But it doesn't tell me if this paragraph sold it to them, really got them to click, if this one did, or if this one did. Okay? So what I can do now instead, instead of tracking three separate URLs, I'm just going to track the same one three times. You get where I'm going with this, Rick? Yes, one thing that we need to interject really quickly here. The fact of what he's doing with this is something you can't do with, with AWeber itself. There may be an autoresponder that you can, but I know for a fact you can't with it because I use AWeber every day, and I'm always trying to find ways to maximize my return. And the fact that you – Well, what I was going to interject – I'm fine, but the, what I was going to interject real quick was the fact that if you know what part of your sales copy, because an email is a sales copy, just like an offer that you see on any warrior form, ClickBank, wherever, on, if you know what is the buy points, the pain points, whatever you want to call it, that people are buying, that way you know how to write your emails. That way you know what areas are pulling yes, in. You the, can improve. Yes, you can improve and exploit what you have done well with. So let's just... <laughs> 
Does that make sense? I want to see some interaction here. I want to make sure that everybody totally understands that. I'm looking. Well, let me finish. If I think three times, what I'm going to do in the message is instead of link one, link one, link one, I'm now going to use link one, link two, and link three. Okay. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to get separate click tracking for these three links. Okay. What that means is when they read this, did they click right away? Link one would tell me how many clicks it gets. Did they read the middle part and click that one? Or was it the really hard sell at the end? Did they read this whole thing and then finally decide by going to the third link? Okay. That tells me a lot more. The opens tells me, uh, get this video now or it's gone. Let's say my subject got me more opens than I've ever seen with my list. Okay. I know then that this subject performed well for me by how many opens it got. Okay. But then they're into the message and they're reading the message. And now I want to know more information. I want to know. Did this perform, did this perform, or did this perform? And that, with triple link tracking, is now something you can do with the vendor lock of the first link. It's going to read three links separately. You can take that a step further and maybe say uh, sales copy link one, vendor lock hosting, sales copy bit two, vendor lock hosting, and then maybe I'll take this out and say, if you if you don't think I've given you enough information, you can check out the full page app and then track a separate link for link and link. Now, what that would do is tell you something completely different. It would tell you did they were they sold on it here and clicked, or did they need to to hear this bit of information before they decided to buy, or did they read this bit about if you're not getting enough information here, click here. And this one would track separately as well. So now I would know vendor lock hosting one, and vendor lock hosting two, which part of the sales copy sold it. But let's say I take out the one at the third one and change it to uh, my blog dot vendor lock hosting or something. I don't have that on there as a part of the domain there, but let's just say I did that. I'm just typing in my blog for explanation here because now link. Three will track. It'll still say click here because I put in the t text here, or I could say for my blog post. Okay, so now link one is going to go click here and go to vendor lock hosting. Link two is going to say click here and go to vendor lock hosting, but link three is going to say click here for my blog post and go to a separate URL. So now did copy bit one. Get them to click. Did copy piece number two get them to click? Or were they not even satisfied with what they read and they want more information? Link three goes to my blog. This tells me a lot. This tells me did I sell it to them? Did I get them interested? And if not, were they still interested in this product if they could just have a little more information? Meaning, whatever I said here and here wasn't enough it wasn't enough information so maybe next time i try to pitch this and i saw most of the clicks here i'm gonna go okay what does that tell me that tells me that this part here and this part here wasn't enough information for the reader to click this and go buy it they weren't excited enough they didn't see enough information to even take interest they did click this link which shows me they were kind of interested, but they'd like to hear a lot more about it before they decide if they want to buy anything. Okay, so by sending them off to my blog, I'm going to give them that information and hopefully make the sale over there on my blog. Okay, you got that, folks? You're going to make the sale on another page now instead. All they're looking for is more information. Okay, and we know this by tracking the third link as an information link thing. Hey. If you think this isn't enough information, if you're still undecided, I'll gladly help you get more information. Click here. Say whatever you think is going to make them click this link, but word it in a way 
where it says, if you are not satisfied with what I've presented here, I'll gladly give you more information. By telling them that right in this little bit of copy here, you're basically making people click this link only if they felt like they didn't want to buy it already. Okay, so word it properly so that you get people to click this link only if they weren't excited about this. So you could even say that. You could say, you didn't click the, that link. You're not excited about this yet. I'll gladly give you more information here. Okay? That might seem trivial or funny or strange to you, but what it actually does over time, over the whole uh, opens of the email that you sent out as the broadcast, and by the way, I added this to the follow-ups too, so you can do the same thing with follow-ups. So with follow-ups, they go out in a series for your whole net list uh, as they sign up. So over time, like let's say six months, you could go look at the numbers and really get an idea of what people are doing with your message. And then you can go in there and tweak it, okay? You could maybe, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's say um, I got a lot of clicks on this, a lot, way more than I was expecting. And when they went to the blog, they purchased it. What does that tell me? That tells me that this wasn't enough to make it sell. And this wasn't enough to make it sell. But when they clicked over here and went to my blog and got a full colored sales page with graphics and layout of what they're going to get with the product and blah, 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 then they bought it. That tells me a whole lot of information. You have to analyze your information. Feedback is important. Once you start using feedback, that's when you're going to start seeing those one or two sales a month turn into one or two sales a week. And then you're going to tweak it more, and those sales are going to become daily. And then you're going to tweak it so those become hourly. Okay? Because what you want to do now is learn how to use the tracking to improve your sales copy. All right? So you can use the link tracking in two completely different ways. You can track the same link two, three times in a message and find out which part of the sales copy made the sell for you. Or you can use a different link for each one. Uh, you can track three completely separate links if you want, or two of the same and one separate one, which I've just tried doing with this, and it works really well. Because now people will click this link, click here for my blog post, only if they felt like they didn't get enough information earlier in the email with the two click here links and the sales copy that was, you know, like, if you want to, you know, make money on Fiverr, click here. You know, uh, this course is going to blow your mind. It really has a lot of awesome stuff in it. Click here. Hmm. They didn't feel satisfied with that information. When I said, uh, if you don't think that's enough information to blow your mind and you're not satisfied or you're not feeling like that product's for you yet, you better check out more information. Click here. Now, if I see all the clicks down here, I know by telling them, hey, this is an awesome product, didn't work, okay? So I'm going to come back here in my follow-up later and go uh, look at the numbers, and I'm going to see, okay, all the clicks are on my asking for more information link. Nobody's clicking the, the buy, the first two buy links. So I'm going to come back to this message later, and I'm going to tailor this to have more information. I'm going to go, okay, well, they're buying it on the web page or on the blog post, and over there, I have all the bullet points of what comes in the product package. So maybe I go to here and go, okay, and add to this and go, here's what you get. And then list off in bullets, you know, like uh, all the stuff you get with the product, like you have on the blog post, okay? So now you're copying what you have on the blog post that's making the sell for you. Or maybe you've seen something on the affiliate page that's making the sell. Often bullet points are the thing. Bullet points are important. Write that one down, folks. Bullet points sell products. List things off in bullet points. They sell. Okay? Because when people read an email, they like to glance. If they see, it does this, it does that, you get this free, and you get that free, all in bullet points, that's the first thing they see when they glance through a message. So bullet points rule. You've got to have them. Now, when you go down to HTML here, of course, we have all those tools to make bullet points and numbers and 
all of that stuff, the highlighting, bold, all of that, font sizes, blah, 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 all right here for you in the Decalogue Publisher Public HTML Editor. Okay? So this is the text version. The other neat thing about this is when you use HTML links, a lot of people have a hard time getting this part right. You know, like let's say click here. Well, that's not a link yet. Until, and if I post a real link, vendorlockboxing.com, uh, oops, I spelled that wrong. Well, it makes a live link and it doesn't say click here. So how do I get click here to go to that link? Well, you have to, if anybody knows about HTML editor, if you have to scroll it and go up here and go uh, find your, I haven't used this in any of the other things. Now where the hell is the link? Um, <laughs> There it is. You can see this is why this is exactly what I'm talking about. I haven't even used this because I'm using the new tracking feature. You don't have to do this anymore, folks. You do not have to do this with my autoresponder. I'm just showing the old way. Okay, so you would go scroll over the text and then have to go up to the toolbar, click link, wait for the window to open, and it's going really slow because I got Ghosty Webinar open. And then you'd have to put in the link here, vendor lock. Oops. This is. Anybody that's done this and knows what I'm talking about here, they've done this with any, and you have to do that with AWeber or even on, on forums, you know, when you're building a warrior offer or something, it's the same deal. You have to go up here and use the link tool. See, now I have a link that says click here. That's an actual clickable link that will now go to vendorlockhosting.com. But boy, wasn't that a lot of work, Rick? Yes, it is. It Every time See, I've ever... Now, yeah, now I don't have to do that anymore. See, with the vendor lock autoresponder, I just do this. Link one. Job done. Wasn't that easy? Yes, it because is. I already had the link up here. I got both the anchor text and link embedded into the link, and it cloaks this link. I'm going to explain that in a sec. They're not going to see vendor lock hosting when even if they even if they right click the click here and investigate where the link goes, they're not going to see this. So if it's a ClickBank link, I don't even have to use TinyURL or any mm. of those services that are crappy and often will shut down your link without warning and make you lose affiliate sales and all that. TinyURL is link front services. Kiss them goodbye. Vendorlock Autoresponder cloaks your link automatically. They're not going to see VendorLockHosting.com, and if this said ClickBank dot or slash eight one nine one seven slash you know those long ClickBank links wouldn't matter. The only thing they're going to see is click here, and when they investigate the link, they're going to see your domain. That's all they're going to see, and a page number. Okay, that's all they're going to see. So it's closed. So in other words, they can't see that this is a ClickBank link, or if this is a ClickBank link. If they investigate it and right click it, go, where does this link actually go? Just click here. They're going to see if your domain name is myebooks.com, they're going to see in the link myebooks.com slash page. That's all they're going to see. Oh, and a number after that. That's all they're going to see. They're not going to see anything about ClickBank. It's completely closed. They're going to uh, click here. Or even the text ones, because you know you can't use an HTML link in text, obviously. So they're going to get the raw link, but they're not going to. They're still not going to see this, Rick. It's still cloaked, even in the text one. It's going to cloak this link and make it run off your domain page link. They're going to see that link instead and click it. No ClickBank link. All hidden. Everything's hidden. Okay. So, and you don't have to actually do all this crap down here to make a link work anymore with HTML like you'd have to do in any other autoresponder. Now you just use short code link one. If I wanted to track link two, I go link two. And I can do that as many times as I want in a message. I could go blah, 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 <laughs> link two. And I would say click here. We told and everybody this was a workshop call, not a fancy webinar. Yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to. You know, I'm just trying to show you how it works. I could keep doing this. I could go link to. I can use the links as many times as I want in a message. There is no limit, okay? You don't have to think like, oh, I can only use link one here, and then I have to use link two later. No, you can use link one as many times as you want. 
It means link two as many times as you want, link three as many times as you want. The benefits of having three separate links, what I showed you up here about tracking the separate parts of your sales copy. This is a powerful tool that I don't think you can get with any other autoresponder that's uh, PHP on your on your uh, hosting account type of autoresponder. And I know Aweber doesn't have this. By the way, my link tracking cloaking system is neater looking because if people are getting email from your domain all the time and like you know like you're Rick Rick at mafiamastermind.org yes if they're getting mail from you there all the time and then you send them a link to mafiamastermind.org slash something doesn't that sound like something more likely they would click than yes. a link that says aweber 6151321279 slash 81 you know what i mean without a doubt like you've You've seen those Aweber links when they come through in the text version. They're nasty. They're huge. They're like a mile long, and they've got all this crazy Aweber stuff in it. People know that Aweber is like an autoresponder service, That's and you're probably sending them some affiliate marketing stuff. But if you're like a person that has your own business on your own domain, and you do business through your own domain, and then your link actually has your domain instead of Aweber, guess what? you get more clicks, okay? People trust it more. They go, oh, this sounds like something interesting. And yeah, I know this guy, Rick, at MafiaMastermind.org. Oh, and look, his link goes to MafiaMastermind.org, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to check this out. Click, okay? Got to remember that 90% of this game is playing psychological uh, learning, okay? You got to learn about psychological factors, and why would somebody click this link versus that link? Why would these exact words make people go, oh, I gotta grab this right now, you know? Why did these words fail? Why is it that I got like no opens on this one? Well, maybe this just wasn't that interesting. But the next message I send out, I put out more shocking, like shocking news. Oops, I can't type today. Okay, get it it now maybe by saying that i'm not saying anything they don't know what it's about maybe that works better maybe just shocking news get it now maybe that's going to get me a lot of opens a lot of opens leads to them reading the message so that's stage one if you didn't get opens you failed and that unfortunately means you don't really get to know if your sales copy was awesome or not it could have been could have been killer but you didn't get a single link click or sale. That doesn't mean it, it failed. It means it could have failed up here. And that's why you want to now track links versus, or sorry, clicks versus opens. Okay. So opens tells you, did Mr. Subject Line perform well? And clicks tells you, did Mr. Sales Copy work? Do his job. Okay. And don't forget, folks, bullet points. Do those bullet points. Okay, in, in HTML, uh, you can just write a sentence or a, a, sorry, a paragraph. Let's just do it like that. I'm just gonna make up some bull crap here. Sorry, pardon my French. And uh, then I'm just gonna do this and go ahead and make that into bullet points or number bullet points, ordered list. Okay, so I just click that, bullet points, all right? Or numbered list, okay? And you can just delete uh, one line out of it like that want to change it okay so it's really easy to use all that stuff now i've made a pretty messy message here it's not really something i would try to send out here this is just my test list i'm using um just to explain this now i'm just going to go ahead and uh i'm just going to save this as shocking news even though it's not a real message i'm just going to save it and send it out to myself here okay and then you can see how the links work okay so it says click here and stuff so i'm just going to go save do, 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 and then I'm just going to go ahead and send it. Okay. And uh, the autoresponder will send broadcasts on its own. You could log out right now, but if you want to invoke the message sending, you can just go ahead and do that manually by clicking there. And there you go. It sent out those messages to me. Okay. Now I'm, I can go into my email inbox and I'm going to show you how it work, the clicks work and stuff there. But first, I just want to show you where I would go look at this information now that I'm talking about, okay? So I think, 
think I just saved that on my test list, so I go under broadcasts. Okay, and under broadcasts, I now have this new box here that wasn't there before. And again, like I said, folks, if you don't have this in your vendor log autoresponder, it's okay. You're getting the upgrade today. Uh, just join me in the Skype group right after this webinar, and I'll be glad to set you up. It's one click for the upgrade. Okay, so over here you can now see that I put in a broadcast on this date, and here's the subject line. Remember, I, I, I want to test this subject line. hope it does well for me. Shocking news. Get it now. Okay, so how am I going to know that this performed well for me versus all my other? And this is my test list, so as you can see, there's no real message. It's just a bunch of garbage that I was testing. You'll also notice that there's no tracking for these messages because these messages were made before I added this feature, so it can't track these messages. So, uh, but let's say, just for example, let's say I'm looking at my list of opens here, and let's say this was a real email list, and it's like, oh, look at this one, 66 opens. Now, I know this isn't real, it just says test, okay, but let's say it was the shocking news one. Let's say my shocking news one had the 66, and all the other attempts I, I tried to get people to open my email all got me one open, six, three, five. But this one message got me 66. Let's say there's only 100 people on this list. That would be 66% of the people open this message. What would that tell me? That would tell me my subject line, and I'm pretending it's this one. Shocking news, get in now, was was good for me. <clears throat> that tells me a lot. That tells me, uh, okay, it's a short one, and it doesn't tell them much. It just shocks them. It's like, get it now, or surprise, surprise. So maybe I'll see a pattern in my list where every time I do something short and sweet and don't tell them too much, I kind of make them guess a little bit. Maybe that guessing is a little bit of the psychological part of getting them to open the message. I know this now because the data feedback tells me that every time I play that little trick on people, I get a lot of opens. Okay? And if I can't, I can't sell them my ClickBank product or get them on my list or, or well, they're already on your list, I guess. I can't sell them my product or get them interested in signing up for something if I only got one person to open the email. Okay? So by tracking mail opens, we can now. And, and the, this feature was already in there, but the, the click tracking wasn't. So uh, by checking email opens, you now know which one did well. And that's going to tell you a whole lot of information about your list and how to tailor your, um, your subject lines here to be more assertive, to be more get this message open now or you'll die kind of thing, you know, like you got to make it without saying that you got to make them feel like, oh, my goodness, I better read this. And, you know, maybe even get them a little scared, like, oh, boy, if I don't read this now, I'm not going to be able to later. Sounds interesting. I better check it out. OK, you got to kind of shock them, scare them, whatever you want to do. But I find just as a tip, write this one down on your notepads. I'm not saying this line would work well. I haven't tested it, but I have found that short ones work better, okay? The long ones where you say a whole bunch of stuff like, this is a really great thing, I'm only offering it today, don't hesitate, click the link inside. Don't People don't read that. And I'll tell you why I think that is personally. A lot of people read their emails on their smartphones, okay? That's why. Smartphones will only show you that much of your subject line when you're looking at the email in the inbox through your smartphone browser. That's really, really, really important. Let's say the first word was free WordPress plugin. And that got me a lot of op or a lot of opens. And that might have been because the word free was first. And that's something that in a mobile browser they could see. Free WP, and then maybe the word plug-in was cut off, so it would say free WP plug, and then it would be cut off, okay? They don't know what the other half of your subject line said at a glance, so maybe they're putting free is first, but if you put a big, long subject line that said 
This is the very best WordPress plugin. It is the hot seller on the Warrior form, and now I'm giving it to you free with the word free way down here at the end of the subject line. Let's say it was this long. Um, guess what? A lot of people aren't going to see that word, even in Hotmail and stuff. Eventually, could, the subject line gets cut off. I think it's about six, seven words on average you can get in there before it's cut off. Now, that subject line is still in the mail, but it just doesn't show in the uh, inbox browser. So you got to remember, what can people see out of the message that you sent them? How much of that subject line can they actually view? Test it yourself. Build a test list, send yourself the message, go check on your smartphone. If you have a smaller smartphone, even better with a smaller screen, go to your inbox, read the message. Is, it, is the subject line even readable or is all the good information at the end of the subject line? Don't do that, folks. Put the good information first. If you have something free or cheap, put the free or cheap first. Because the word free or cheap is going to make them look further. If they want to know what the rest of that subject line said after that, that's when they're going to click the message open and get the full subject line, the full message. So say your important words, especially your first two. Let's even just say two. Because when you get into third and fourth and fifth word, a lot of that has to do with how long those words are. Like shocking is much longer than the word news. Okay, so if I have three long words, third one might get cut off. If I have five really, really short words like get in now today, that might all fit, you know? Depends on the word size you use, but generally only the first two or three words can be viewed on a mobile browser. A lot of people are using mobile today, folks, so please take note of that, that you want to keep your subject lines extremely short nowadays, as opposed to the old days where you put long stuff and you want the important stuff to be the first two words. Like, you'll die if you don't click this. <laughs> you know, put that in there, I don't know. Whatever you wanted to say. Just shock them with the first couple words. That's generally what I'm trying to say. To get the higher open rates, you wanna shock them with the first two words and maybe even only go as far as five or six words. No more subjects that go on for 10 words because even though you can send that, it doesn't get read, okay? You want to get people to read, so there's three stages to it now. There used to just be two. There used to be the subject line did the grab, and if they were interested, they're going to click and go into the sales copy and go further. But nowadays with mobile browsers, that's even gotten worse to the point where we're down to two or three words, okay? So to take advantage of that, hit them where it hurts right here. Okay, that's stage one. First two words. Hit them where it hurts. Okay, shocking news. Or uh, if it's weight loss or something, you know, like you could say, lose those pounds. You know, whatever you're trying to do, just get them really hard sell right there and do it in two or three short words. Okay, and if you can do that, you might not even need the rest of the sentence. Okay, I don't like to put out subject lines longer than four or five words, um, I'm seeing, you know, major increase in opens with the shorter ones. So enough about subject lines. I hope that helps you guys write some better, higher performing subject lines, okay? Shocking news, stuff like that. Shock them to get the opens and do it in two or three words. Hope that makes sense. Now, as we did the message, there was three links we put in there, link one, link two, link three, and they had separate colors, and here they are. Okay, so let's say uh, somebody goes and reads that message now. Um, I could actually just do that. I should just go into my Hotmail account here. I think I had it open already. See? There we go. See? Shocking news. Get in now. Look, now here's a long one I sent from something I sent out to another list as a test. You see what I'm talking about, Rick? How it's cut off? It says no and here, this one was uh, got one more word and said no, or one letter, and it said no, but you don't know what this says. It says no cost. Now, isn't that important? It, it means it's free. So I thought, I see, this is bad. I wrote all this stuff, but it's not going to fit in here where it says no cost. I should have put no cost up front. 
Now, okay, so you see this nice short one? And this is a test message. As you can see the difference when I look through my thing here, I get shocking news. Okay, now here's my message. Remember I said it was a really crappy message. Oh, I messed up the bullet points too. Okay, so it's not a real message, but if I click here, it's going to take me to, where should it go, folks? It should go to vendor block hosting. Oh, so let's go to webinar and screenshot software going at the same time. It's going to close that. So link one tells me, did this part of my sales copy get them to click to vendor lock hosting or did this one do it? Or did these ones do it? And then, of course, remember I, I said I was going to track that separate link. I don't know if I actually did that or not uh, in this one, but I would track them separately, and that's going to tell me if this part of the sales copy performed, this part, and I shouldn't have wrote those extra links. It messed up what I'm trying to explain. And then, of course, I could I forgot to write in here. There would be something saying, if you think you need some more information before you go ahead and purchase this product, click uh, check out my blog post to get more now. And then I could have click here for my blog post, click that one, and I would track how many people were not satisfied with the bullet points and sales copy I gave them already. Okay, so that tells me, did this sell it? Did that sell it? Or did they not get enough information at all and want more? We're going to click there. So now I'm going to go back to the autoresponder and I'm just going to refresh this page. Do, 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 do. And it's just loading really slow here. I've got too many things running. There we go. As you can see now, I've got one open because I just opened it, folks. I just went to my email and opened it. So track that for me tells me that one person opened this email. And uh, let's say, uh, well, since it's a two-person list, my test mail message list here is just, see, it's my test list. This has only got two of my emails on it, so there's only two subscribers. So out of two subscribers, one subscriber, or one open means 50% of my list has already read this message. Okay, so... Um, that's bad numbers. You would want like something like a hundred people on your email list and that, that would tell you that 1% so far has read this message. Okay. If there was 66 out of a hundred, that tells you that 66% opened this message. Okay. And now here's the C and U. Let me explain this. The first link, second link, and third link, you can track separately, of course, but I put the little instructions right in here. C equals clicks and U equals unique clicks. Because let's face it, folks, somebody might click your link two, maybe even three times, check it out before they buy it. You don't want to make radical assumptions about how many clicks you got from your list based on just the clicks, because just the raw clicks tell you how many times the link was clicked. It doesn't tell you how many people clicked your link. Okay? So... By tracking, and, the, and then you might ask, well, why don't you only track the unique clicks then, Jeff? Well, because you want to see the difference because, again, learning stuff about the numbers tells you more information about your message, and therefore you can tailor it to do better in the future. So by learning that I've got one click here and one unique click, well, that's going to increase if I go back here, and let me go back to link one and click it again. Okay, now uh, it went to the site again because maybe I'm a visitor and I'm checking this out for a second time. Yeah, I'm going to buy Jeff's hosting package here because it's such a good deal. But maybe that's the second time I viewed it. So wouldn't, as the sender of that message, wouldn't I want to know that information? Certainly. So I'm going to refresh the page now again, and hopefully it won't take forever to load here um, with all this software I got running. There you go. Now, as you can see, it's still... I still left the message open, so I didn't reopen it. So it still only counted as one open. But now you'll see that unique clicks is still one, and the click number went up to two. Well, what does that tell me? That tells me that the one person that read this message clicked the link twice. And as I get more and more people viewing and clicking, this number versus this number will tell me how many people went and looked at it, and then I can take the number two and go, okay, well, there's an extra number on here. So one person went to this offer 
twice. Okay. And now if I go click it again, click it one more time, folks. All right. And then I'm going to close the page. That should do it. And then I'm going to refresh so we get the fresh count. Uh, and it won't pop up that little thing if you're using the buttons. I'm just hitting refresh. So that's why it's doing that. Um, so there you go. Again, didn't open the mail again. So I can tell that only one person read this. And they definitely clicked the link at least. They clicked link one to be exact. They added, I can even know what part of the message they clicked. They clicked right after paragraph one. And then they went back to that same link two more times. Okay. That tells me a lot. That tells me that I only had one person read this. So I know that this one unique click was from that person. I also know that that person had to have gone two more times because there was no other opens and there was no other unique clicks. So if this said two and this said two, then maybe uh, it was one guy that went twice, but maybe it was two guy, two people, two, one guy, one girl went each twice, you know, and then it would, would say four here and two here. Okay. Hope that makes sense. So what that allows you to do is analyze the information very deeply now, much further than you can do with any other autoresponder or AWeber, because you can right here in a row, look at all your broadcasts you sent out and look at comparison numbers, opens, how many subject lines performed well for you. And then once they got into the message, how well did the copy perform based on your three separate tracking links and those are going to be the use uh, and the, the C's are going to tell you how many times the, the person that went originally went back to a message. So if I have, let's say I have a hundred people on my list and I got a hundred opens, that means a hundred percent of the people open the message. That means my subject line was the very best it could possibly be. By the way, you'll never get a hundred percent open rate. I'm just using this as an example, right? or as an example uh, for this webinar, but you'll never actually achieve that rate. No one does. So uh, 100%, let's say. 100% opened it. Let's say then this would say 100. Okay, 100 unique clicks. But let's say this said 200. That, or no, let's say 120. Okay, so 100 and 120. That tells me that either 20 people went back and looked at it, or maybe a couple of them were three-time visitors. Okay, that's pretty good. But let's say this was 100 and this was 600. <laughs> what does that tell me? That tells me that only 100 people ever viewed it, but they were repeat viewers that came back and clicked the link. You know, if there's 100, they all clicked it at least five, six times each. What does that mean? That means that they were on the fence about it. I would expect to see something like that for a more expensive product because the average view to a website before somebody buys a product that's anything over $7 is five. So in other words, you should expect somebody to come back to a page five times. If you use Google Analytics or Stat Counter, you'll know that when you track your page hits, it shows you unique hits and total hits. And the reason you want to see both is exactly that reason. You want to know, did somebody come to this page or did they come back three times to this page before they bought the product? Okay, so now you can track that right here in your autoresponder and you can do that for the three completely separate links. That's really powerful. Now I can go, okay, all the high numbers are in link two. So all the high numbers, let's say I had 100 opt-in or 100 opens and I got 80 of them here and 20 of them here. That would tell me that the middle sales copy where I put link two performed much better. Maybe link one didn't perform well because they were just getting into the message and didn't feel like this was enough information and they wanted to read the whole message. Or maybe this was just killer sales copy. I could track that further if I have a follow-up that I've been tracking for months instead of a broadcast that just went out all at once. If I have a follow-up and I'm seeing big numbers on this, low numbers on this, is the sales copy for link one not weak 
or is it just the fact that people wanted to read through the whole message before they decided to click? How could I test that? I could take link one, go to vendor lock hosting, click here, and I could put the same link here, click two or click three, then I could put the middle link as something different. And then that way I could see if the sales copy that is selling it is doing well, or is it real, or, you know, like, is this week or is this week, or is this copy in the middle of the message really strong? And by changing the link after that, and maybe the sales copy that goes with it, not, not, necessarily, not necessarily the link, I'm sorry I mentioned that, that was not right. What I meant was changing the sales copy for before link three. If if I all of a sudden see uh, a lot of clicks down here now, instead of this, that tells me that yes, they read the message all the way through, and that was what made them click the last link. Maybe this was high before, but it could be just because it was the last link in the message, not because the copy was weak here. To further attest that, I would go ahead and make more copy and add a third link. And if I see the numbers drop here in a follow-up, because you can track those for months, um, if I see a drop here and all of a sudden this one's the one getting all the hits, that tells me that maybe this part was okay and maybe this part wasn't as strong as I thought it was. It just happens to be it was getting all the clicks because it was at the end of the message. Now I can tell that this is the end of the message and it's getting all the clicks. So that tells me a lot about the three pieces of my sales copy within the message by tinkering with different links like that and different click rates or uh, ratios, uniques versus um, amounts of clicks and, and then comparing it side by side like this to the, you know, you can't do this in a web you can't look at the three parts of your message separately side by side and have them all right here from all your broadcasts for that list in a row. So you can look at six, seven, ten messages all at once here. Right here in a row, something like that again. Okay, it's short, it's sweet, it's shocking. That's what did it. Okay, I know that my short, sweet, shocking one gets me lots of opens which then leads to the sales copy and oh look at that i'm getting all my link clicks on you know this one let's say this is the part of the message that made them click okay now it tracks the unique links by ip address okay so therefore they're going to come if they, it doesn't matter what it's not a time thing it's it's an ip address so no matter what time of the day or next day or 72 hours later they're still only going to count as one unique hit and they're going to it's separate for each message okay so if this guy let's say his name is uh let's say her name is sarah let's say sarah the unique clicker uh now opens a message you sent two days ago she's going to count as unique click for that as well but not if she reads that message again or not if she clicks that link again. If she clicked that link again, it would increase this number only. If she clicked this link again, it would increase this number only. So it's very accurate because it does not use a time uh, process to, to figure out, did this person click twice? It's an IP-based system. So once they're in as a unique clicker, they're no longer gonna ever count as a unique click for that particular message again. They will count as a unique clicker for any other message or broadcast or follow-up or any other message on any other list. Okay, so that's how you're going to use the new features I've given you, and you can't get that with AWeber or any other autoresponder. So if you want to get this autoresponder, you have to go to Rick's link right now and join us for the Autoresponder Sales Club and then go ahead and get the gold membership after that. The base membership is three bucks, mafiamastermind.org slash deal. You can go there now if you're not a member. If you don't have these features that I just spent all this time explaining, please join us in the Skype group for the autoresponder, scale, or autoresponder sales club, and I'm going to help you do the upgrade this evening. Okay, And if you want to do it tomorrow, that's fine. I'll, I'll make it available to you tomorrow too. Okay, 
and anybody that, uh, and that's for people that don't have this new feature, okay? I'm going to explain one more new feature you don't have, and AWeber doesn't have this for you either. Let's go, say I want to build a web form for one of my lists. Uh, I'm going to build it for my test list, we'll say, okay? And I'm going to build web form. So I'm going to click that. Now, the old web form page looked like this, and you had your little web form here. Would you like um, to oh, i got to pause the video here. here. But now you have a whole bunch more, and I've made the text uh, or the code really easy to copy because I've added these text boxes in here instead of just HTML. Way cooler. Okay, so here's your basic form that you used to have, and it was HTML editable, so you could add stuff to it. But I went ahead and made new web forms for you that you can manipulate in HTML and swap out the graphics. So do whatever you want to it. Okay, so now these are really sharp, cool new option images in the text or in the code. A lot of people don't know how to do that though. So I wanted it to be pump something nice off. So I went ahead and built that. Or you got um, this whole form with first, last, and email and HTML selector. Both of them were very plain, though. Also, one to go, go more than before, but it, what it you took was going in here and adding an image, you know, source, and then linking it. So now this, this does it for you, okay? So you come down here and you can copy this one, and you're going to get this opt in form on your page for the list that you clicked on. All these are code in here to do the list that is required for the form. So you don't even have to pick what list and stuff. Click for your page. Okay. Just and you just use Control A to copy, and you use Control C, uh, sorry, Control C to copy. Control A is to select all. So I go on here, Control A, and then I hit Control C, and then I'll go ahead and paste that into my web page. And I'm going to have this form. Okay, I can swap out the graphics if I want to. You will see that they're in the code right here. Okay, so this one is, and by the way, it'll be your domain in here, not mine, because it's going to, these images are part of your autoresponder now, and it's going to actually gather those images from your own domain, not mine. Okay, so you'll see that it's in there, though. It'll have the uh, default video web form image.png. So you could go ahead and swap that photo out if you wanted to, if you wanted to change this or that, or even the button, you can swap that. Okay. Um, you can change colors, borders, like see this has got a thin red border. You can make no border, so it's just all plain white there, just by making the border zero. Let me go in here. Um, I'll exp I, I have that bigger, in, easier to read instructions for this, so you can see it uh, um, without having to strain your eyeballs. I don't know how small this looks on your screen. Well, I'm trying to show you, but in the code here, you can just go ahead and change any of the colors for the borders or anything you want. Okay, you'll see that this form, I, I built an animated one for you for downloads. You'll see that the arrow button moves on this. I don't know if you can see that on the feed, <clears throat> but the arrow button points to the download button moves up and down. Um, so you've got an animated download. If you don't like the border, uh, you can change the color or make it dots or dashes or solid or you make it go away completely or make it thicker or thinner all by adjusting the numbers right in here for the border um it's right in the code here okay so you just copy this and once you paste it in your page it's really easy to look at the code and go okay there's the color for the font and there's the border that i was talking about it's six pixels and it's dashed okay so you can change that to dotted or solid uh, and of course you got your colors here and I've got some explanations for the HTML stuff here that if you, people don't know this it's really easy just change this number basically if you want a thinner border you change that to one if you want the border gone no border at all just put that to zero 
when you paste it in your page. That simple. Now let's get onto the video web form builder. Now you've never seen this before. Aweber doesn't have this for you. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have your YouTube video play auto play with an arrow pointing straight at your opt-in form? Yeah. Yeah. Ask you video player, and you can get rid of the arrow or swap it out again if you want. You can just take it out if you want. And the form and a nice button. Now, it's got the code here already. Okay, now the code has the YouTube URL in it for my video, just, you know, as a default, uh, um, just kind of just as a sample. Okay, so you don't want to use my YouTube video though you want your video to play live so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to YouTube I'm just gonna go to YouTube for a sec to show you how easy this is folks uh, I'm just gonna grab any video I'm not really really gonna pick anything in for drive sounds cool I'm just gonna grab that okay um, and I'm just gonna pause it so it doesn't uh, make any noise here Okay, now when I go to YouTube, you can the whole URL is uh, blah, 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 and often they've got a whole bunch of different stuff in here, like if you're viewing it from a different player, you get these V slash V. So copying the URL, you don't even need that. You just need the video number. Okay, so you just grab just the video number off the end like that, ta-da, and you go back to the autoresponder. Now, in the code, you got this code gen regenerator button. See how it's got the original video code there? I just replaced that like that and hit regenerate. Bam, new code generated, copy and paste. Okay, so now it's already, see, it's already injected that number into the code for you. See, it's right there. Already did it automatically in one click. Uh, the first way I had this was you had to paste in your own URL and then I thought, no, my whole idea of building this new web form builder for the autoresponder is to really get away from people to ha having to do anything on their own like you know like the original one adding your own images and image button that was too much work for people so I took that work away and made it just copy paste and I wanted it to do that with the video too so that's why I took the time to make this code regenerator that's basically why I put it in there is so you don't have to deal with the full URL and trying to paste it into the code because it's actually in there twice it goes in the code here and here so you know it doesn't play if you miss it the second time so a lot of people would just put it in once and then go jeff doesn't work and i would say oh you got to put it in twice and th that was too much of a pain in the butt so now the code regenerator does that for you just click just click right there and it says new code generated copy and paste okay then you just go control all and then uh, which is control A and then control C to copy. Now I'm just going to go to my uh, HTML editor and build a brand new page. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just paste. Now to paste, if everyone, anyone doesn't know this, you can go control V as in Victor and it will paste. See, now you don't have to know anything about this code at all. You just paste it in. Okay, and when you go view it, we hit preview here. Ta da! It's got the video already playing for you, quick Doom Drive, and it's on autoplay, okay? Already on autoplay. You don't even have to inject the autoplay uh, code in there to get it to autoplay. It does it for you. So now on your webpage, you have your video pointing straight to your opt-in form. How simple is that, okay? And you can make this any video, and of course, if you want to resize it and stuff, that's really easy, Just the, just like the old days. With the YouTube embedded player, it's right there in the code. Width and height. Okay. Now, keep in mind with YouTube players, you have to change it twice. So follow the code down that line. Change it here and here as well. But you just change the numbers to the width and height. Changes the video size. Uh, your web form. If you want to get rid, of, <clears throat> if you wanted to get rid of the arrow or something like that. Um, you can just change up, swap out the graphics and stuff right here. Like here's the red access button. Okay, you can swap that for your own button if you wanted a different button. Like maybe you want the button to say, maybe you have an awesome button already that says uh, join. And you want it to say join now instead of get access, you could just swap that button out. But I gave you some nice, cool 
uh, highly high quality graphic uh, buttons for these forms already. So when you go back here, you have any YouTube video you want and use that web form on your site. Okay. Now, now what I'm going to do is instead of using broadcasts all the time, and, and Rick, I hope you're listening because I know you do this too much. Um, you build a nice big long list of people and then you go hitting them with a broadcast. And guess what? You didn't warm them up first. Warming them up first is the most important thing to do. And if you go ahead and bomb your whole list, what you're actually doing is mailing people before you should have mailed them because they don't you don't want them to see your ClickBank offer until you've warmed them up a little. So go ahead and use follow-ups, people. Don't use broadcasts, okay? How are we going to set that up properly so it all works and we can see the feature that I added a couple months ago? It builds your master list automatically. So you just enter the number and hit save. And the number comes from right here at the side where you can see your list ID numbers, okay? As you go down, <clears throat> we're losing you there, Jeff. You'll see, I cleanse. Uh, are we back? Because I'm not doing anything. I got it on full blast. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. Must have just been some Wi-Fi feed, uh, fade out. Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, I was just saying that by using the master list feature, you just enter the number and hit save, to, and it will build a master list with that ID anytime anyone opts into any list. Okay, so 49 down here is my master list that I just started rebuilding. I had it at 7,000-something people, and I just deleted it. I explained that in my last webinar, and I'll explain it again in a sec, why I deleted this list. Um, but I changed the name from master list uh, to close friends. Why did I do that? Because in this unsubscribe link, it says you're a, part of, you're a valued member of my, and then puts in the list name, and then says you joined on and the join date. That helps you count, combat people trying to suggest that your message was spam. Because it says right in the vendor lock autoresponder message unsubscribe link, it says what date they joined on and gives them convenient unsubscribe link. But it also mentions the list name. So I thought I'd try this out. I just changed it yesterday, so I don't know if it's working yet. We'll see. But by changing it to close friends, I'm hoping that when people go down and go, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe from this, if it says you're a member of my close friends list, maybe they'll go, oh, well, I just got this offer. He sends me some good stuff once in a while. He's got me on his close friends list. Maybe I shouldn't unsubscribe. I'm hoping that little psychological factor may work. I haven't tested this enough yet to know. But if you want to go ahead and build your master list as close friends, go ahead and try it out. So I'm building a master list on list ID number 49. So to do that, I just built a list in my, uh, just up here, you just create a list, make the list. Uh, very easy, just fill in the form and hit go and you built your list. Once you got the list built, it's going to give you the ID number for it, which in this case is 49. You just go to the master list ID, enter the number, hit save. Okay? And now what it's going to do is anytime anybody opts into any of my lists, any single one of these lists, doesn't matter which one they opt into, as soon as, oops, that was a mistake. Um, as soon as they opt into my list of any one of these lists that are I've got here, they're going to get a subscriber on this list. So really, when they now when they opt into any one of my options, actually opting uh, uh, easy mass mail sender. Okay, right here, I got 1,200 people that have downloaded that. Easy Mass Mail Center registered users. So as people from this list opt in to get the Easy Mass Mail Center, they also get put on my master list down here. Okay, what does that do for me and how do I utilize that to my advantage? Okay, 
let's say I get all these 1,200 people. They got they all downloaded Easy Mass Mail Sender. Okay, so um, let's go into Easy Mass Mail Sender list and show you what's going. Oh, Podcast. If you want to edit follow-ups, you go to the main list editor, which is the next button over. Okay, and you'll see your follow-ups down here at the bottom. Okay, these are different than broadcast. Follow-ups are the ones that go out to every subscriber in a series according to when they signed up. A broadcast message goes out to the entire list all at once, all on the same day. Those are not good for sending to your list. Because a broadcast hits people before you warm them up. So don't use them. Use your follow-ups, people, and build your list so it's automated. You want automated sales, right? Well, this is the way to do it. Stop using broadcast. And if you're using AWeber, same deal. Do not use broadcasts, okay? Only broadcast to specific lists for launches in certain situations that I'm going to explain in a second. Instead... I'll tell you why you want to do that. Because if you keep bombing your list with broadcasts, they're going to put you in the junk folder. Okay, You're not going to succeed. So why pay money for quality advertising and getting leads on your list if every single person that you got to opt in, you pissed them off in two weeks and they all hit junk and never, ever read another one of your messages again? That was a waste of money. So instead, use these. Use the follow-ups. Okay, under your list editor. That way you can build your same message, but you're going to send it to them in a series according to when they signed up. So you're not going to hit them with the buy uh, offer. You're not going to say buy this right now to a person that signed up to your list yesterday. No, 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 no. You are definitely not going to get the sale and you are definitely going to end up in their junk folder. So every day when you think you're sending mail to Joe Blow, Joe Blow isn't reading anything you send him. Yeah, Joe Blow might not even be looking at your subject lines because they're all going to the junk folder and most people just delete their entire junk folder in one shot wouldn't you agree with that rick i mean people just delete the whole folder so they're not going to look at your message if it's in there so don't go to the junk folder use a follow-up and end up in their inbox the way to do that is to use your first five or so emails to just send you know simple messages that say basically you know i'm interested in this and i know you are too so if you want to know more information please reply to me you want to use your first few messages to get replies now since this is a product that i've sold easy mass mail center obviously they need a download link for this product that they just purchased so how do i set this up i set it up so my opt-in form is the page they land on after payment so if you're using paypal when you build a PayPal button, it has that link URL in the button you're building there for successful, um, you know, transaction. You're going to put the link to your blog page or whatever that has your opt-in pull out. It's going to go out in zero days, zero hours, and zero minutes because I want it to go out instantly to this person. And this message is the thank you for choosing Easy Mass Mail Center. Here's your download link. Okay? Now, that's all they get in the message. All right? That's all they get is the download link and a thanks for purchasing. And if you need support, click here. I'm not pissing them off. I'm not doing anything. I'm just giving them the link they paid for. Okay? This message I send out four hours later because this product has a really, really cheap upgrade that they're probably going to want. For three bucks okay but it's something they don't have to get and i explain that to them in the message so again i'm not really hard selling them on anything just offering them another link four hours later but notice i don't have any other messages lined up nothing okay once i gave them the product they already paid for and offered them a chance to look at the the second version of that if they're interested i don't bug them anymore i'm not going to email them i'm not going to send them stuff Okay, what I am going to do is instead go back here and go to my master list, which they're also on now. Okay, they're on my close friends list now because they signed up for the product. So I'm going to go to list 
and go to master list. This list I might send an occasional broadcast to if I have a product launch, but even more importantly, this is where I'm going to build my series messages. Okay, so what you want to do is go under edit here, and this I just started building my new series messages for this, so I only have two so far. But I'm gonna, there's going to be a 10 message series here, okay, and you'll notice that the first message I give them is uh, a way to dominate email marketing. And I make it a very, remember I said the first couple words in your subject line are impact. I put access in huge letters and then put no cost. They know that this is free. I'm not trying to sell them on anything. I don't want them to buy anything. I want them to get something that they're going to have to access and I'm giving it to them for free. I did all of that in just that word and two words in brackets. So I, get, I let them know that they're getting something and they're getting it for nothing. Okay, and that's when they're going to want to bother reading this part of the subject line that they can't see in their mobile browser. Okay, dominate email marketing, get checks from AWeber. Yes, times four, question mark. Well, this doesn't sound interesting. It's like, first of all, they know it's not going to cost them anything. They know they're going to get access to it. And now if they read a little further, they're going to find out they're going to learn how to dominate email marketing and get checks from AWeber instead of paying them. Well, this sounds pretty interesting. I'm going to get an open on this. They're going to click that. Okay, they're going to open that. And then I'm, they're going to see that I'm offering them something for absolutely nothing. So that's building the trust. Okay, it's building some, uh, it's warming up my lists. They're going, hey, this Jeff guy is really great. He sends me these emails where he tells me this really highly valuable information or gives me access to stuff for free. I like Jeff. And then I'm going to send them, you see this one I got set up for one day later. It's going to be a whole series of these. But this message doesn't sell them anything either. This one treats them just like a person, okay? Just like an average Joe or a friend of yours, like that you're contacting on Facebook and saying, hey, what's up, Sarah? How are you doing today? You know, like this is how you have to treat your subscribers for the first few emails. And you'll do better instead of going, I'm an expert and I know a lot about ClickBank and this is the latest thing. Click it here, $49.95, only today. You, you might do well with a message like that if people believe in you and actually believe what you're saying, but they're not going to believe that out of the gate. So they're not going to listen to it even if it's the truth, even if that product really is that good. They're not going to believe you. So don't try to hard sell to anybody when they just join your list. And that's the danger of using broadcast, Rick is that this person that signed up, let's say, three hours ago just got this message. And the reason it's set to three hours is and not zero, zero, zero and right away is because, don't forget, this is my master list. So that means they're getting this message three hours after the message they paid for. The message they paid for was a download link to Easy Mass Mail Center. So they get that one right away. This one comes along three hours later and says, I'm going to give you this too for free. And they go, hey, wait a minute, I just bought something off Jeff for three bucks. What's he giving me now for free? They're definitely going to be interested in this, especially being free. Okay, so they're going to look at this. And then when I send them a message a whole day later, and I say, hey, I just say short and sweet. So, question mark, what did you think? I find adding in questions really gets a lot of replies. In this message, I ask them what they thought about the webinar video uh, replay that I gave them for free here. I said, what do you think of that? And in the message, I basically tell them, reply to me and let me know what you think. Hit the reply button. Okay, so that's what I'm asking for. And I'm going to put in uh, probably five more of these where it basically talks to them like an average person, doesn't try to hard sell them. I give them a little bit of free stuff. I ask them what they think about it. And most important, what I'm trying to do out of these first four or five or six messages is get them to reply to me. If they hit the reply button and say, yeah, that, that does sound interesting, or you can even use little things like uh, in your message, you might say, I will give you a link to an ebook, but only if you're interested. You'll actually get more people to, to pay for a product that way by, by getting them to reply to you first and then going, yeah, here's the link, and give them a $7 download. You would be surprised how many more people buy that $7 download after they had a little one one or two email conversation with you first. So get that email conversation going by using your first four or five messages in this series. Now, 
you have those five text email swipes in a folder you can go ahead and grab if you're an autoresponder sales club member from your vendor lock client care account that I told you about at the beginning of this webinar. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up what you want to do here. You want to use your follow ups and build um, trust by just sending text only, no links to buy stuff. And basically, if you do tell them to check out something, it better be free. Okay, it better be free and it better be something that is cool that they're actually going to be interested in. Don't sell, uh, or don't send uh, ClickBank products for internet marketing to people that joined your list for diet products. Don't do that. Keep every soft and them software offers. Okay. By using the master list, you can now go ahead and market all the products from that master list. And if they unsubscribe from your master list, that means they're just not interested in hearing any more about your ClickBank product. So why would you want to keep emailing them and piss them off because they're a buyer or at least somebody that opted in and were interested? You don't want to tick them off. So don't. If you're not mailing them up here on this list, they're not getting pissed off. They're not receiving anything from this list. So therefore, guess what they're never going to do? Unsubscribe from this list. They don't even remember they're on it. So guess what I have the advantage of doing now? I can email them from here and sell them my other products. If they choose on their own to opt out of this list, that's fine and dandy. I'm not at least, at least then I'm not ticking them off. If I come out with Easy Mass Mail Sender 2, I can now go to this list of people that have not junked my messages and don't even remember they're on this list and haven't received a message in six months or more. I can go to them and email just this list and say, guess what? I've got Easy Mass Mail Center 2, and I'm going to release it on the Warrior form for $47. But you, my subscribers, get it today for 7 bucks Today only, click here. Okay, now I'm going to get that sell because I spent six months sending them cool stuff over here. And if they were interested, they stayed. And if they weren't, they unsubscribed on their own free will. But I didn't take them off or do enough emailing over here to make them drop this list. Now when I have a product to sell to them that's actually related to this product, like let's say Easy Mass Mail Center 2, I'm going to get the sale because I'm going to go to this list of 1,200 people and I'm going to see uh, a 60% or 70% sales conversion because I know all those people bought the original one. They all trusted me enough to buy the original one. All 1,200 of these people already paid me money. So why would they not upgrade to the second version if I give them a super awesome deal on a super awesome product that is totally 100% related to the original product they are going to buy? Okay, that's how you're going to make the sale. If I kept hitting this list every day with broadcasts, all 1,200 of those people are going to go, well, Easy Mass Mail Center was cool, Jeff, but I'm not interested in these ClickBank things every day. And uh, frankly, it's getting a little annoying. So bye-bye, Jeff. You're in my junk folder. Or maybe I've even gone further and marked it as spam. <laughs> okay, so anybody that marks my messages as spam or junk because I sent them too much stuff, guess what? When I go to send 1,200 people my Easy Mass Mail Center 2 upgrade, five of them are going to get it <laughs> and go, well, maybe. Okay. If I want all 1,200 people to read that message, I better leave them alone. I better not mail them. I better not tick them off. I better give them what they ordered and offer them, you know, support link. And that's it. I don't message uh, broadcast to my smaller lists anymore um, for something like that. I'm going to broadcast to my master list. Your master list is going to do really, really fast. This was just uh, deleted a few days ago. It's already up to 500 and something. Because as, as people opt into my smaller list for my products and services, um, they're going to get put on this list. Okay? And if they unsubscribe, that's their own free will. Don't twist their arm to read your emails. Your system should not be set up in a way where you need to twist people's arms. If you're twisting people's arms to get people to read stuff and buy stuff, you're doing it wrong. 
people should be flooding your inbox with replies going, oh, that sounds awesome, Jeff. I can't wait to get this. Can, can I get a link for that now? You know, stuff like that. That's the kind of response you want from your email list because once you do that, that's when you get to make money because they're going to email you and you would not believe this without hearing it from me perhaps, but um, a really close to clicking your buy link and they decided to hit reply and you sell it to them. You go, oh, well, you know, it does have that. It, you just, if you look under the, the list of features, you'll see that exactly what you're looking for is there. And then they buy it. They go, oh, thanks, Jeff. That's great. I didn't see that. That's exactly what I was talking about. And they go buy it. So it was, you know, my personal conversation with them that got them to actually make the buy. A lot of times they're really, really close already. But if you have your subscribers really, really close to mine, but they haven't clicked buy, and they have no relationship with you, guess what they're not going to do? They're not going to reply to your message and go, hey, Jeff, or hey, Steve, or hey, Sarah, uh, this looks really cool, but what about this? And that question leads to the sale. So if they're not going to ask that question, you might they might just go, ah, forget it, I'll look at this another day. And that attitude is exactly what makes you lose sales every single day is by feeding people that uh, attitude. Like, it's okay to just read this and ignore it. It's okay to just not reply to me. It's okay because I'm not a person. I'm just a robot over here sending you mail. And if you click on it, I get lucky once in a while. No, you can't be like that. You got to actually get your people to go, hey, how's it going? What's going on? I heard the weather was crappy out your way. You know, like you got to get those conversations going. Just a little two second chat with somebody can make them buy your product six months later because they'll, they'll see your launch and go, oh yeah, Jeff stuff's good. Man, he's a nice guy. He always replies to me. You know, so a lot of these ClickBank vendors don't. He always replies. It might take him a day and a half, but he always gets back with a full explanation. So I can feel totally confident about buying this piece of software. If, if, there's, if there's a question I have about it here, I know that question's getting answered. Jeff's a good guy. Okay, it's that mindset. You have to build that because that's when people go buy your links and products and whatnot. Okay, okay. so that pretty much wraps up what we got here. If anybody wants to get into the autoresponder sales club that is not a part of it, here's what you get in the autoresponder sales club. Okay, you're going to get my email campaign. I give you five text swipes and five HTML swipes. Okay, you're going to use for what we talked about today. You can use those five text swipes. Okay, so. You're going to get all 10, but you can use the five text ones for what I explained. Fill those in and put paste one in, in as a message. And then the next one, I, tr I try to space them out every two days. So put your first message in your master list. Okay, build your master list the way I showed you there with the vendor lock autoresponder. Go ahead and make your master list. In your master list follow-ups, which is under the edit button, go ahead and start building your series messages. You're going to paste in one swipe per message, okay? And you're going to put that in HTML and in the text box. Remember that. You want to do both. Go ahead and use my new tracking feature where it says uh, in the swipe, your name. Obviously, go ahead and put your real name. In the swipe where it says interested in and then blank line, go ahead and put in your niche or whatever your list has been opting in for if it's a software product whatever put the name of it in there okay so put that edit the swipe so it says your product your name and of course obviously uh you don't want to put any links in these first few messages if possible if you have to give them something do it with the list that they opted in for master list is for building trust and getting sales later so with master list, set your first message to go out a couple hours late. Okay, that way they're going to get it a couple hours after the original list they signed in for. That way they're not getting two messages at once because a lot of people just don't read them if they get two or three at once. So space them out a bit. You got your product goes out at zero 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 hours so that they get their download link. But the master list, you set it for a couple hours later for the first message, two days later for the next message set the third message to like four days and keep doing that so that every message is spaced out every couple days okay and the first one goes out in like say three hours 
Okay, that way you can use the swipes and or just write your own or you can manipulate my swipes and rewrite them any way you like and get them. Basically, the job is to get them to reply to you. Okay, you want them to hit reply. You don't want them to buy. Okay, you can make that into a bumper sticker if you want to. Okay, get them to reply. Don't bother with the buy. All right, because if you can get them to reply and get a little bit of friendship going on with you, definitely going to make the sales later. Guarantee you. I can put a guaranteed stamp on that for you. Okay, so build trust. Once you get replies and you have a good offer and product to show them later with a good page, you're going to get the sale. I, I will put a guaranteed stamp on that. And I, if you're part of the autoresponder sales club, I'm around every day to help you do that. So if you join today, you get those email swipes, okay? You also get membership site access. We have a members area where you can go log into to watch the replay videos of all these workshops we're doing. So if you miss something or you want to see it again, you can go back and watch it there. You also have access to the Skype join buttons there. If anybody doesn't have us on Skype yet, inside the members area, you just click the button and you automatically get audit added to our contact list. And we'll add you to the Skype group. Okay, speaking of Skype group, that's the other thing you get. You get the autoresponder sales club Skype group. Now, Rick here runs some Skype groups for $100 per month and these people are staying in them because they get the value of these workshops and whatnot they're willing to pay a hundred dollars a month for that because heck if you don't have a hundred dollars a month to spend on your business you're going nowhere because i mean if you got a land-based business that'll cost you 10 grand or plus just to have the papers and pens and hydro and hydroelectricity and you know pay all your bills and pay your employees you're looking at 10 grand just to run a donut shop right a month. So if you don't have a hundred bucks a month to spend on your business, you're probably not going to do very well. You have to invest. You have to buy advertising. I'll help people do good advertising. If you're in the autoresponder sales club, you can come to me for answers on that. Um, but this deal is crazy because Rick doesn't do any groups for less than a hundred bucks. And I don't offer these kind of workshops to people for, for nothing. I have a, you know, I have to, Feed my family too, um, but we're going to give you the entire thing for just three bucks. Okay, so if you don't have three bucks to spend on your business, uh, you shouldn't be in business. The coffee you're drinking right now is probably cost you more than three bucks. I know the cat or the mochas I get here at my local coffee shop are five twenty-five. So three bucks, folks. Don't miss out on this. It's today only, and I've got your link here for you, Rick. You can type this in the chat box for people that are not a part of the autoresponder sales club yet it's mafiamastermind.org slash deal okay now you have to go to that link and join to get to see the upgrade offer the upgrade offer is where you get my vendor lock autoresponder you get magic video site maker which is a youtube blog building software that is like nothing you've ever seen before if you really want to check it out before you grab this offer you can check it out at magicvideositemaker.com. You're also going to get Magic Video Robot. I mentioned that one earlier in this webinar. I so, sold that out on the Warrior Forum. $167 product is sold out. I'm giving you a copy today with the upsell. You can get that once you join as a base member. For the base membership, you get everything in this list. You get my email swipes. You get membership site access. You get the Skype group where we're conversing every day and I'm telling you what to do. We're planning these workshops that we're going to do every single week for you. So you get that all for three bucks. Once you join for the base membership at three bucks, then you can go ahead and get the autoresponder, magic video robot, magic video site maker, another program I have called auto, auto ad swapper. You get all of that in the upgrade package and guess what folks I'm even going to give you a free domain name with the hosting package that comes with that and I'm going to install all of those applications for you if that wasn't enough I'm also going to give you your own branded copy of a desktop piece of software that builds e-covers so you can build those nice e-covers graphics with the boxes and DVD covers and put in your name and stuff on the box and stuff I'm going to give you 
not only am I going to give you that software, but I'm going to rebrand it to your company name. So you go ahead and send me your company name and a company uh, little logo that you want to put in there. I'm going to rebrand the software, send it to you, and guess what? It's 100% yours to sell. Now you have a desktop software that will build e-covers for people with your business name in it when people open the software. It's a beautiful piece of software. I even let you pick the color of the theme. It's got you know the, the reflections and the, uh, the shadows for the boxes. You can adjust all it's all. Nice, easy click, drag buttons and whatnot, and it's going to have your company name. So you can go ahead, put that on a site, and sell it as your software product. It's your company's product, not mine. So once you have that rebranded, you don't owe me any money or any commissions. It is your piece of software, and you get to sell it for any price you want. Keep all the money forever. Okay, so you get that as well. Now, the only way you can get the upsell or the gold membership is to become a base member first, and that's at mafiamastermind.org slash deal. Three bucks, folks. We can't help people for less than that because the, the only reason we have the three bucks is so that we can have the group and have uh, people do these workshops, and I think the go-to webinar costs you, I think, uh, $600 a month, doesn't it, Rick? Something like that. So we're just doing this as a very basic fee so you can be a part of our group. If you want to get the autoresponder, you can go ahead and get the gold membership. If anybody's here that's in the base membership for the autoresponder sales club already, but just wants to upgrade now to the autoresponder and hosting package that we offer, and it's a killer deal, killer deal. You're going to get the hosting, the domain name. You're going to get the branded software, you can get Magic Video Site Maker, Magic Video Robot, Auto Ad Swapper, and the Vendor Lock Autoresponder that you just saw with the upgrades in it already, all those new features. You get all of that, and I'm going to install it all for you on a hosting account. You can't ask for anything better than that for 10 bucks a month, which is what it breaks down to. So if anybody wants to get that offer that missed it last time, and is a autoresponder sales club group member, but didn't get the autoresponder or the hosting or pack, uh, gold package, which I also threw in um, Warrior Money School gold membership. You get access to that too, which is my uh, $246 video course that I sell uh, to you know real estate agents, stuff like that. I've sold that on the Warrior Forum as well. You get that as well. You get all of that. So if anybody missed that offer that did get the base membership already and just wants to upgrade, you go to mafiamastermind.org slash upgrade. Anybody that's watching this that wants to be a part of our workshops and get this kind of help every day and become a member, just go to the first link you see there, mafiamastermind.org slash deal, and you can join us for 3 bucks. You get the Skype group. You get... Yeah, uh, membership access and get my swipes. And in that uh, autoresponder sales club Skype group, Rick and I are going to be there every day answering your questions and helping you do successful email marketing. Okay, that's what the autoresponder sales club is all about. So if anybody has any questions about what we showed today or what we need to do to upgrade your uh, autoresponder if you have the original version, or if you have any questions about this offer we have, now's the time. Have we got any questions in the chat box there, Rick, that uh, I need to answer? Rick? Can everybody hear me? Anybody there? I'm not sure if anybody's hearing my feed now. Uh, not getting any voice back from Rick or anybody. So I'm not sure anybody can see what we're doing here or hear me at all. Uh, having a problem with the software here, maybe. Uh, Rick, are you there?
Hello. Okay, well, I guess we're going to end the webinar call here. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can go ahead and hit me up on Skype. Vendor lock is my Skype ID. You can also email me at Jeff, J E F F, at vendor lock.com, V E N D O R L O C K dot com. I'm um, not sure why we've got no feed here. I can't hear anything, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. If you can, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end of this webinar. And if you are not a member of the Autoresponder Sales Club, you can join at mafiamastermind.org slash deal. We're going to go ahead and have these workshops every week, and we're going to help people do successful email marketing. So go ahead and join up at mafiamastermind.org slash deal. And um, not sure why I can't hear anything right now. Uh, if you can hear my voice, I uh, appreciate you sticking around till the end. I think I'm going to have to punch out of the webinar here to get this to work. Not sure what happened here. Uh, the audio has gone dead for me. Um, if you can hear my voice, thanks for sticking around. This is pretty much the end of the presentation. I hope it helped you folks get set up. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and ask them in the Skype group, uh, and we'll be glad to answer those for you. Okay? Uh, I'm going to punch out now. It's my birthday, April 30th. Um, Got some friends coming over, and we're going to go out and have some fun later. So going to get ready to do that. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and ask me in the Skype group, and I'll answer them before I head out this evening. And, uh, of course, I'll see you in there tomorrow as well. Um, Rick, if you could just punch back to me in the chat here if you're on the webinar still, because I'm not getting any feed. So I'm assuming you're gone. Uh, I see that we still have an attendee list, but people are punching out now. So not sure if you guys can hear me, but it's uh, okay to leave the webinar now because we're pretty much done here. Uh, if you want to uh, join up, please go to the link, uh, mafiamastermind.org. Let me get that link back on your screen here for you. There it is, mafiamastermind.org slash deal. Okay, and you can join the Autoresponder Sales Club. And, of course, we've got the upgrade link here for anybody that's already a part of the Autoresponder Sales Club and just wants to get the vendor lock autoresponder, hosting account, free domain, and all the other software I mentioned. Okay? MafiaMastermind.org slash upgrade is the link for you folks. And if you're not a Autoresponder Sales Club member yet, you want to go to that first black link I have there for you, MafiaMastermind.org slash deal. Okay? So that's all we have for you today, folks. I hope that was a, a good presentation for you. It went a lot longer than I expected, but once I got into it, I realized that a lot of things needed to be more thoroughly explained as I went along. So hopefully that uh, helped you out. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. I'll be in the Skype group in the next 15 minutes. So you can go ahead and find me on there. If you're not in the Skype group, all you have to do to get in there is once you've joined as a base member at mafiamastermind.org slash deal, you're going to instantly be shown a link in the email to go to the members area. So go to the members area, create a password, go inside, and you will see two big blue buttons. The first one, click that, and it will automatically add you as a contact to us on Skype for Rick. The second button is for me. You can click that one and it will add me as a contact on Skype. If you do not have Skype on your computer, if you click that button, it will auto install Skype for you from their website. So nothing to do, no hard work. Just go in the members area, click the button. Even if you don't have Skype, go ahead and click that button. It will set up Skype for you and then you can go ahead and add us as a contact. And once you do that, when you're in your little add contact message, just say, hi, Jeff, or hi, Rick, member of the Autoresponder Sales Club. And once we see that message, we're going to add you to the group so you can become uh, part of the actual live Skype group that we run every day. And you can go ahead and ask us questions, get help, get involved with the group, share ideas, chat it up, and you know what? Have a lot of fun, too, because uh, these Skype groups are a lot of fun. So 
Um, I can't see the questions in the chat. I can't hear Rick. I can't hear anybody. Uh, I feel pretty lonely here, so I think I'm going to have to punch out. I don't know what happened to the feed, but I see that there's still some attendees in here, so I'm assuming people can hear my voice. So on that assumption, I will say thank you very much, folks, for staying till the end. Um, I've had a great birthday today. It was a great day all around, and this was a really fun little webinar, and I really appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with me today. Wonderful, so, wonderful. Uh, Rick, you're back. I yes. Lost, I, I totally thought I lost the feed. Yes, well, it's – it's uh, there you go. It's it's all good, and let's, let's call it a night, and there's so many different okay. things we can do, and by all means – uh bottom so line just tell me one thing before i go what were you guys able to see the whole presentation or did i get cut off there no you were fine that was fine there was okay, a few times great. you faded but we know this was a workshop call yeah. and the bottom line is everything is there and uh they'll make it really fast for everyone that uh anybody that takes advantage of the upgrade uh on a year um actually you know what yeah. it, it yeah you I know got it all right here for him on the page right? there you I'm go glad to hear your voice i thought, I thought no that's sure fine that it was the feed so it, right um i'm glad people could still hear it um yes mafiamastermind.org slash deal for anybody that wants to become an autoresponder sales club member and i thoroughly explained that over the last five minutes so I'm good sure everybody's got the full idea of what's going on and that they have to go to mafiamastermind.org slash deal to get in right now if they haven't already. Anybody that listens into this that uh, wants to catch the replay of this or whatever or is already a autoresponder, an autoresponder sales club member, if they just want to get all those cool new features and autoresponder and all that software, you go to the second link there, mafiamastermind.org slash upgrade. You have to be a base member first, though, folks. Keep that in mind. So if you have not joined as an autoresponder sales club member, please do that now. It's three bucks, folks. Three bucks. That's less than a cup of coffee. MafiaMastermind.org slash deal. Okay, I think that wraps it up, Rick. And I've got some friends coming over in a little bit. It's my birthday, and they want to take me out and have some fun. So I'm going to punch out here, and I'm going to go over to the Skype room for the Mafia Master, or sort of the Autoresponder Sales Club, and I'm going to answer any questions people have, and I'm also going to make the upgrade download available right now to anybody that doesn't have those new features I showed off. So if you don't have them and you want them, join me in the Skype group, and I will be glad to help you with that. And of course, my email, if anybody can't get a hold of me the other way, is jeff at B-E-N-D-O-R-Block.com. Benderlock.com. Okay, and if you... Uh, there you go. Benderlock, like on my screen there. B-E-N-D-O-R-Lock.com. So that's Jeff at Benderlock.com. You can contact Rick at Rick at MafiaMastermind.org. Okay, so those are both of our emails. You have us on Skype. Uh, and, and like I said, when you become a member... To add us on Skype is super, super easy because you get all this stuff right here. You get my email swipes, membership site access, and the Skype group. To add us on Skype, just go into the membership area okay, and get a link for that immediately. Once you're in the members area, there's a big blue button, and you click that to add Rick. The second big blue button is to add Jeff, and both of those buttons will add Skype to your computer if you don't have it already. So no hassle. Basically, you just go in there and click a button ready to go once you do that we'll add you to the autoresponder skype or sorry autoresponder sales club skype group and that's where you can chat with me and rick every day and get help for us all for three bucks and there's only one link for that and that's this one http dot dot slash slash mafia mastermind dot org slash deal and the and last thing i'm going to say before well, before you go any further i apologize uh, it's been a long day. The bottom line is Jeff has given us over two hours of solid meat here content you, you can work with and uh, help build your list. One last thing, for those that do upgrade um, for that gold membership they're on the upgrade, I am going to give away. Uh, uh, we, it, it took some time to figure this one out, but I'm going to do it for the first five people only. And it's a WordPress plugin that's the ultimate edition. 
and you can go look it up yourself. I'm not going to spend a ton of time here. It's forty seven dollars on the Warrior form. Um, forty seven bucks. It's yours if you get the one year, and I'll even do it on the six month. But it is a forty seven dollar product. It's a wonderful plug in. Over fifty actual um uh, motions and ways to change your graphics I and mean, change your yeah, ways to just explain that a little bit to these okay people that are on the webinar because you showed it to me and i was really blown away this wordpress plugin that rick's giving you if you upgrade to our gold membership today you'll get warrior money school autoresponder sales club gold membership all that software hosting account domain name i install it all for you and now rick's gone ahead and added this wordpress plugin i already checked this thing out this thing is amazing 47 bucks he's giving it away this wordpress plugin what it actually does is take the graphics and in, or the text or whatever on your on your wordpress site and make it move okay it puts animation into it which is crazy to think about because if you've got Let's say a little ad that says, you know, click here to buy, and it's kind of, you know, in the page and people aren't really clicking it. Imagine if that little badge or that button started dancing when people were viewing it. Imagine that. Imagine that thing starts dancing around on the page a little bit and jiggling and wiggling. And that's why it's called the sticky wiggly because it wiggles and jiggles and moves around. And people go, what the hell? It captures your eyeballs. Okay? Yeah. Now, let me just give you an example of that. When I do this link, you see how my arrow's spinning right here? That animation points at my link. That helps you recognize the link a little better. I can animate it again and get it to pulse like that, and I can get it to wiggle. Okay, there's a little wiggle for you. Now, I'm doing this in a PowerPoint presentation. But imagine if you could add wiggles and jiggles and, and spins to your text and your, your images and even your buy buttons it, on your wordpress site that's what this plugin does folks basically you just go in there you just click a few buttons and you can take what you already have on your site and, and make it animated so it's going to get a lot more attention your stuff's gonna your buy buttons are gonna pulse or shake or wiggle or jiggle and you're gonna set that animation it has uh, how many animations, Rick? Uh, 55 uh, animations. 55. 55 animations. The only other product I saw like this was another WordPress plugin that came out a long time ago. I'm not even going to mention the name of it because it's old, no dated, and fairly crappy. It has bugs in it. Um, but it had the same idea, and it only had, I think it had four animations. This new WordPress plugin has been coded by a WordPress master and put together by a team of WordPress masters. Rick has access to the license tier because he was smart enough to get in on this WordPress plugin yep. before it went big time. So this WordPress plugin, it, you can't get it for less than 50 bucks. It's going to make your animated, uh, it's going to make your buttons and everything on your WordPress plugin or site animated, which is going to get you killer conversions. Okay. It's going to make a difference for your WordPress sites, folks. So you're getting that for free. If you get the one year, there's still there's a few options available on that upgrade. So if you get the one year upgrade, which is the very best deal out of the four options you have there, it works out to ten dollars a month, and that includes the hosting and the domain name and the installs, all of that, all of that, and the autoresponder. How much are you paying a month for autoresponder, Rick? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, there. but right around th yeah, one of, just one of them. The uh, reseller through uh, uh, HostGator is twenty four ninety five. The another one's uh, six ninety five. And right. yeah, but for your straight for your auto responders. Oh, just for the auto responders. Oh yes, I'm paying forty five dollars a month just for the auto responders. Right. Right. Yes. So like, what I'm trying to break down for people here is by getting the vendor lock auto responder, you're getting a better auto responder that you can use on your own. Yes. Like, yes. Account. It's going yes. to get you a better open rate. It's going to have better tracking because I have the triple cloaking and tracking for you now. So you're getting a better auto responder and all that software and Rick's plugin and the hosting account, and the domain name, and I install it all for you and hand you the keys the next day. So, or not even the next day, if I'm not if I'm not backed up too much, I get it out to you in a couple of hours. So after you ordered and got your hosting account, a couple hours later you get an email from me. With all your applications already set up. I install the databases, I install the cron jobs, I upload the files, 
I run the installers, I go in and test it, make sure it's working okay, and then I send you an email with all your links to go log in and use the autoresponder and all that software. So for less than 10 bucks a month with our upgrade, you get the autoresponder, a brand new cPanel hosting account, domain name, all of my software, that rebranded desktop software I told you about, and now Rick's gone and added his WordPress plugin, which has a $50 value. It's, it is $47 itself. by itself. $47 yes. by itself. So I'm just trying to, I, I hope I'm not overkilling here. I'm just trying to really explain just how much you're getting in that gold member upgrade. And that doesn't even touch Warrior Money School. We didn't even talk about that. Warrior Money School is in there. Bottom yeah, line is, know. bottom line, we've been in, over, in here for over two hours. Thank you for everybody yep. that came to the call. I'm doing that for five people. That's it. There's no hype. There's no anything there. That's what it is. There's five people okay. on this five call. Five people get the WordPress plugin, but everything else I mentioned, yeah. uh, people get with that gold upgrade. Right. But only the first five get the WordPress plugin. So keep that in mind, folks. If you want the uh, 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 WordPress plugin, you get that only if you're the, one of the first five. So I'm guessing five people have probably already bought it, Rick. Yeah, I know. For, yeah, I'm looking at the so, chats coming sure. through here. I know there's at least two that are really piped up in just in just the last couple of minutes. Literally, this was an information call. This is, but bottom line is, I'll do that yeah. for five people. Okay. Yeah. Like basically, we're offering these links to you because I know there's a lot of people that we, that joined us the base member last time we did this uh, auto responder webinar only we went in more into a, a slightly different field in the autoresponder presentation mm -hmm. about building lists um, but that that replay I should mention for anybody that hasn't joined yet you get the last webinar that really powerful webinar we did you get the replay for that too because we give you all the replays in the members area so you get that today if you join okay and really basically we're trying to tell you that we want to help you more. And the only way we can really do that is if you folks want to communicate with us daily and stuff. And the only way we can really do that is with our Skype group. And of course we have to have a base membership fee for that by making it $3. I hope you folks know that we're basically giving it to you. We have to have a small fee to make it work, especially by using GoToWebinar. It's expensive. Um, but I, I have, I have membership sites for forty, fifty dollars a month, and people stay. Rick, you do your other Skype groups for a hundred dollars a month, and people stay. So for three bucks a month, folks, we couldn't possibly give you a better deal on our help. The upgrade is a crazy killer deal. The only reason we're presenting it today was an offer that was taken down after the last webinar. The only reason we put it back up and put the link here for you today, folks, is because. A lot of people joined as an autoresponder sales club member for three bucks last time, and now they're in there chatting with us, and they realize that they their autoresponder isn't going to do what they really want it to do. So they're they're going, hey Jeff, how do I get the vendor lock autoresponder now? I, I I missed that upgrade deal. It's over. What's what's the deal? Can I buy just the autoresponder? And so since we decided to have this workshop today we put the offer back up today but it's up for today only and it's only for people that are already an autoresponder sales club member so if you get the three dollar membership you are now privileged to be able to view the upgrade offer and to take us up on it if you want that's where you get the autoresponder and like you just said you're paying over 50 bucks a month with just your autoresponder rick we're going to give them all that software install it hosting account domain all of that plus the vendor lock autoresponder for less than 10 bucks a month and that's what the upgrade rate so go ahead and head over to mafiamastermind.org slash deal join up and i would expect to see all of you in the skype group all right. Any more questions? No, no, here, no nothing that's new. The people are excited about what they did see. And, oh, folks, okay. we can't do anything more for you than that. Come to the Skype well, rooms. we can. We can keep doing these workshops, and we're going to do them once a week, only for members, though. Anybody that got to see this today, that got invited to this today, that isn't a member, this is the last time you get to do this and join in on this. Uh, this is for autoresponder sales club members only. And Basic, we did basic coverage today, just kind of going over features and how to use them. But over the next few workshops, we're going to start really getting dirty. We're going to start putting into campaigns and actually discussing them together in the group. 
So we're going to actually not only have the, the triple link tracking and the opens to, to, to work with and get better at building our messages, but we're going to have our entire group yeah. working together as a team to try to come up with things that work better. So what, what I want to do is maybe next week with the next uh, workshop is actually try to build a campaign with the whole group and split test it amongst the whole group so that we can all talk about it at the end of the day go, this is working, this isn't working. This isn't working as well as it should. This is working great. And then we can piece it all together. And you know from working with me, Rick, that funnels take adjustments. That's they right. Never work. They never, mm. ever, never, never work first go. You have to analyze That's the right. data. You analyze the data very closely and carefully. And that's where you're going to see where and we need your participation. And we need your participation, not Absolutely. just. Absolutely, you have to participate. To that's right. Something like that. Happen. That's right. Not just so, watching a webinar. We need you actually getting right. down in the trenches with us. So yeah, come we can't. Down and fight with us. There you go. Thank you so much, everybody, for being on the call. We've been on for two and a half hours now, or over. Yeah, Jeff has been a madman. Jeff has been a madman tonight, and it's almost eleven thirty my time. And I am yeah. so thankful that he did this. This is, again, only recorded for our members. You will see the recording if you are a member. If you're not, and if you don't take advantage of it, then, then this, you won't see this again. But there it is. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Jeff, for being on the call tonight. I'm okay. signing off. And you can see me in the Skype rooms if you want to rock and roll and see what we're about. And you, everybody has my contact information in there. So thank you so I'm much. Thank jump, you, Jeff. I'm going to jump into the Skype group right we're now. We're waiting on you right now questions and uh i just want to say a quick thank you to everybody that that sent me uh birthday emails i really appreciate it thank, thank you, you so much good night and everybody have a good night thanks